hello in this video we'll discuss how to prepare isopropyl benzene or cumin from benzene by treating with one chlorpropane in presence of anhydrous aluminum chloride let us start without wasting much time you know in benzene there are six carbon atoms and six hydrogen atoms and you'll find double bond and single bond in alternate positions and each corner has one carbon and one hydrogen atom now this one will be treated with one chloropropane ch3 ch2 ch2 cl in presence of anhydrous aluminum chloride then the product will be isopropyl benzene let us see the mechanism you see alcl3 anhydrous is an electron deficient compound why because aluminum has three electrons in its outermost shell when it combines with three chlorine atoms on three different sides each chlorine provides one electron now aluminum has six electrons in its outermost shells usually an atom should have eight electrons in its outermost shell during compound formation but here lcl3 is an electron deficient compound as it is electron deficient it is an as it is electron deficient it six electrons you see generation of electrophile generation of electrophile for the above process for this process generation of electrophile by the help of anhydrous lcl3 you take ch3 ch2 ch2 cl combine with al cl cl lcl3 and you know this lcl3 is electron deficient so it needs another two electrons why because aluminum has six electrons in its outer most cell after combining with three chlorine atoms when it will combine with these chlorine and these two electrons it will have al cl4 minus al cl4 minus this cl with these two electron it becomes minus and this part becomes al cl3 and this cl minus becomes al cl4 minus as this bond contains two electrons and these two electrons are taken by this al cl3 so this cl becomes cl minus but this ch2 lost this electron lost this electron so this ch3 ch2 ch2 becomes ch3 ch2 ch2 plus you see this is a primary carbocation primary primary carbocation and you see this carbocation has two hyper conjugating structures two hyper conjugating structures and this plus needs electron to become neutral and this plus can seek electron from adjacent ch bonds you see this ch3 ch2 ch2 plus can written in expanded form semi expanded not fully expanded ch2 plus these two electrons with this h atom will become a hydride ion and this hydride ion will be shifted to this side and this one becomes ch3 ch and this ch will carry a positive charge and this ch2 plus and with this h minus ch2 plus and this h minus becomes ch3 this part becomes ch3 this part becomes ch plus this part becomes ch3 why this part becomes ch plus because this electron of this carbon is taken by this ch2 plus by the help of this h 
and H with these two electrons becomes H minus H minus and CH2 plus becomes CH3 and this CH lost this electron so it becomes CH3 CH plus you see this is primary carbocation this one is the primary carbocation and this one is the secondary carbocation and this primary carbocation becomes a secondary carbocation and it has six hyper conjugating structures how many six hyper conjugating structures because this C plus has two methyl groups attached to this C plus and they have six hydrogen atoms so six hyper conjugating structures six hyper conjugating structures it is more stable than this primary carbocation let me explain again this is a cs3 this is cs3 cs2 cs2 plus this is a primary carbocation and it has two hyper conjugating structures and this h atom from the middle carbon will be shifted to this cs2 plus as a hydride and it becomes cs3 ch plus and this cs2 plus becomes ch Three by taking H minus from the middle carbon and this is a secondary carbocation which is more stable and this is the electrophile and this shift is known as 1 to hydride shift 1 to hydride shift then benzene benzene will attack this cs3 cs3 plus y because this is electron rich and this ch plus will be bonded with this carbon at this with this carbon of the benzene ring and it will become you see this part will be bonded to this part ch i have written this ch first then this cs3 then this cs3 and this electron is shifted so this one becomes a electron diffusion center it carries a positive charge this is a carbocation carbocation which is stable due to resonance we can do resonance over here you take this one again you write over here this is H this is CH CS3 CS3 and this one is positive charge and we have to draw the next regenerating structure this positive charge needs electron so these two electrons will move to this side and the next regenerating structure can be written like this you see this part is not disturbed this part is not disturbed also this bond is remain as it is and this bond is shifted to this side so the plus charge over here is neutralized but this carbon gets a positive charge now we have to do the next region structure by shifting this pi bond to this position you see then a double bond is formed over here this double bond remain as it is H CH CS3 CS3 this is the positive charge at this position these three regenerating structures are written over here and the resonance hybrid can be written like this you see this is the benzene ring and inside the benzene ring you know there are three pi bonds but here in the regenerating structures in each structure you will find two double bonds means there are Two double bonds so one third part of the ring will be cancelled and the positive charge as shown over here will be written at the middle then H CH CS3 will be written this is the resonance hybrid this is the resonance hybrid next step rimbal of a proton you see you write the first structure this one or this one again you have written H CH CS3 CS3 is the positive charge 
in presence of Al Cl4 minus this H will be removed and these two electrons these two electrons will form a pi bond over here and this plus charge will be neutralized and this H will be removed this H will be removed as H plus and with this Al Cl4 minus it becomes H and this Cl becomes SCL and Al Cl3 being the catalyst regenerated and this part becomes as shown CH, CH3, CH3. You see, this is the isopropyl benzene or you can say cumin. You see, when benzene is treated with one chloropropane in presence of anhydrous aluminum chloride it gives isopropyl benzene you see the procedure first step generation of electrophile second step formation of carbocation third step removal of proton removal of proton this h is removed as h plus and this h plus with lcl4 minus gives scl and lcl3 lcl being the catalyst regenerated and isopropyl benzene is power. Thank you.